one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a absolutely stunning 1973 Mercedes Benz 280 SE. Like I say, absolutely gorgeous car. The chrome, everything on is good shape. This is going to be an exterior walk around, and then I'll go up close and show you a really close in depth of any problems or dings or scratches or whatever it's got on it. Um, this is a great running car. If you're looking for a nice daily driver, well, just like anything, it's an older car and something's going to go wrong at some point, but I would drive this car daily. It drives around so smoothly, so nicely. My woman loves it. And she is a lot younger than me. She's 32 years old. And not many younger kids I didn't think would appreciate a car like this. I'm, what am I now? 40 something. And like, I appreciate it because I kind of grew up on chrome. But like, the youngers, man, I get 18 year old kids all over this car when I drive it. It is bad to the bone. Absolutely beautiful, timeless body lines. Instant classic. It's a cool car. Um, I'm gonna do the once around, twice around, all that. That's a once around to kind of show you what you're looking at. From there, I'm gonna go up, show you underneath and all that. Check out up to uh, 80 pictures of it on my website, oneownercarguy.com. And I believe this was like the first or second year for those bunt wheels. Pretty cool. Okay, so oneownercarguy.com. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. I always do all kinds of videos here and show all kinds of cool stuff, whether it's a um, walk around or whatever it may be. I be making videos, that's all there is to say about it. Clean underneath, clean, 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 clean. And as far as the exterior goes, nice, 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 nice. I'm gonna start going down the side and just showing you some stuff on it. Um, it's straight, the car is straight. There's a little ding right here in the fender. And you might find the odd little ding type thing barely in the chrome and stuff, but man, there's one right here. A couple little chips like this or this. Sorry, my nails are dirty. I've been hands are dirty too. I've been cleaning cars all day. That that couple of tiny chips. That's the worst of them. It is what it is though, and I want to make sure you see it. Little scratches there. Lenses and all the chrome trim and everything around them is an absolutely gorgeous shape. It's just a beautiful car. And like I say, going down the sides. Besides a couple little dings I showed you, it is one straight car. Look at them lines, man. Okay, that's that. Glass and all that's good. Look at the trim. The trim on this car. You know, I hate to say perfect or anything, but the drip rail molding and everything is just in beautiful shape. Even the um, rubber molding there, it's not even dry. I think the car's been garaged its whole life. We got lots of records on it and such. If you're looking for one of these, I just sold a 69. They're pretty nice. But <laughs> this one you don't think it'd be any nicer. Along comes Baby Blue. Baby Blue. It's pretty. Like I say, lenses, chrome, all that, stainless, whatever you want to call it, great shape. Even the rubber molding, plastic molding, all this is in great shape. Not dented anywhere, really. I don't see any dents. There might be a ding right there. Maybe it's made that way. It has a ding, it has to be. Love the double bumper with the extra trim. A little tiny gouge there. I'm being extra picky. Extra picky. He could use a good polishing, but if, I, I don't, I, maybe polish and wax, but it shines like there's no tomorrow. Down the sides, this side. It's hard for me to see with this sun. There is a, there it is, a line right there. And he just put it, it didn't really indent it much. We'll go down and look for the other side. The sun will be, my, yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. We got phone calls coming in. When I check, I've been expecting a couple calls. Okay, well, it was my office. They're going to have to wait. So, little scratchy ding there. But it's pretty obvious when you get up on it. But away from it, you really can't tell. And a little chippage along the door. Look at the stainless trim around the bottom. And stuff. Still got the factory undercoating. These wheels, they're in great shape. Um, honestly, I would take one of them or screwdriver things with a little, I don't know, you know, a little wheel. And just buff these things out, man. Oh, you'd have an alcohol aluminum wheel in absolutely no time flat. 
Um, yeah, across that hood. Oh, buddy, look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful. I love the way this sticks up with the, I guess it'd be air intake or something. I absolutely love these older lights across the front. So, I guess enough of telling you what I love about the car. Just looking at what you got, you got these wheels, and I'll show you from the other side where it's a little bit of lenses, just in great shape. The surrounds and everything, a little chip right there. Same thing right here. It's just small stuff that happens. Yeah, these wheel wells. Just in great shape. But these wheels, you can tell the clear cut's starting to come off. And you can get a new set, but you could polish these things out or just paint them with a um, paint this color, especially a hammered aluminum like a Rust Oleum. They got a nice set of tires on it. Um, it's got plenty of tread. Look at that. Just plenty of tread. And they are, make a sure here, match set 20570R14s. Sorry to run you around like this, but yeah, it's a match set. Okay, so now I'm gonna get on the road, take you for a little test drive on it, all that good stuff. I wanna get a picture or two here, so I'm gonna shut this off for a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a test in this video about how I film it. Tell me if you notice anything different from the first time I went around it, especially if you're a longtime subscriber. I changed the settings, and especially this way where you're looking into a dark way. And I'm going to do something else I did. I'm going to go up under here and show you under here. If you're looking to buy, what I'm thinking is this going to give you a, a lot better deal. Better look at what you're looking at compared to the old one, if you would. Somebody tell me. Tell me. If I get a better picture like this and I think I can tell you right now looking at this the answer is yes it puts more light on it it throws it differently that's the deal so we're going for a test drive please comment and let me know hey man that's way different do it the second way or oh god it makes it too blurry can't see nothing don't do it that way ever again you fool you know what I mean okay one thing about this car that I forgot about I hadn't been in for a while one of these and by these years, if you don't put your seatbelt on, lap belt, you're going to find it. <laughs> you are going to be one unimpressed sucker. Because that little buzzer is going to buzz the whole time you drive it. Okay. This thing starts up just right now. Yeah, buddy, I love the way these cars drive. So powerful, so smooth. And the way the chassis is built or whatever, man, I'll tell you what, they just ride so nice. And it's such a nice, solid feeling driving one of these. I mean, even speed bumps, they're no match for it. Speed bumps are no match for a 280SC. Just all there is to it. Mazas, Ford Fiestas. They are no match for 280 SE when ran into at 45 miles an hour in a side swipe. You get what I'm saying. You just get that solid, solid feeling with this car. And when you put, man, everything's the way it should be on this bad boy. Woo. You get somebody pulling out in front of you. You got the brakes to stop, too. The, the car is, I don't know what else you would need as far as technological advancements. In fact, this one even has, some people may not like this, but it has the USB slash Pandora slash everything you need type of radio. Now you could literally, if you wanted to, go around this corner screeching the back tires, but it's not the kind of car you drive that way. But at 40 miles an hour around the turn, you get that nice solid feeling and it doesn't whip you around. You know, I would rather drive an old car like this, and I believe it's a smoother, better feel, than a 2008 Honda. My woman has a 2008 Honda Accord. It's a nice little good gas mileage car. She got 207,000 miles on it. That's a lot of miles. It's a lot of miles in a short number of years. 
they're pretty good, reliable cars. But the way you run, the way you feel, and the way you roll down the road, I just don't dig it. Oh, and that's usually where I turn around. As you can see, we got a problem with that. I'm gonna give you a little bit of um, town driving, I guess. We'll go the long way. We'll take it around. Okay, so check out my website. It's oneownercarguy.com. And there's all kinds of pictures of this on there and all kinds of other cars. I always have nice classics and Euros and all kinds of things like that. And as a matter of fact, classics, you wanted to find a classic for me. I've got a lot of W124s, W140s and stuff of that year range, the late and early 90s in a um, Mercedes Benz. As a matter of fact, my last buy was a W126 560 SEL. Awesome car. Um, it might be coming up. It might already be sold to Estonia. I sell so many of these Mercedes sometimes before they even make it onto YouTube here. So get around all these people. Traffic time, traffic time. In fact, I'm doing a video of the W140 today. So check my channel out. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, I do, I don't know, three, four, five videos a week, depending on the week. Um, and a lot of it is going to be just car reviews and stuff. And I've got a chunk of cars coming up right now like you would not believe. I mean, a chunk of cars. I even got an old Mark 7 I've had for many, many years, and I, I'm just gonna, watch this, I'm gonna give you some juice here. People just going slow. I mean, it goes, the car, look at that S car go. That's right. And you go down the road and put your foot in it, you've got that nice here right now power. It's a good feeling car. I dig the car. If you're looking for a car like this, call me, Nathan, one owner car guy. 406-546-8748. I put my name everywhere. It's always out there on this stuff. And you look up these kind of cars and stuff, you're gonna run into me now and then because I sell quite a few old Mercedes and I do love them. I love them. <laughs> save this Mercedes just for this much a day. You could save this old classic. No, really, for the price of a, a beater throwaway import, Japanese car, you could drive an actual classic that's not going down in value the same way. Look at there. Mercedes limousine, Mercedes W124 wagon, W124 sedan over there. There's another 280 SE. There's an S420. There's a Carrillo. There's a 560 SEL. There's an Elante, a Mark 7, a Range Rover over there. Range Rover over. W140's everywhere. There's stuff all around here, I'm telling you. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So, with that in mind, my guys looking around and thinking like, what's wrong with him? I'm always yelling and screaming like that. Beautiful car. I'll be back tonight and I'll show you a interior review of this car. I like, even though I don't like when the shadows split the car, I like giving you that different thing. And that's what I'm gonna show you tonight is the car in a different light to where you can see how it looks in a different light. All that kind of stuff. Look at that gleam coming off this car. That's that, oneownercarguy.com. And like I say, so many old, look at that Elante. Look at that classic Dodge pickup, the blue one over there. Oh my God. Just so many beautiful cars. We got a 98 SL over there. There's the 560. And back to the one you came about. Convertible Mustangs here, convertible Mustangs there. Another one coming, Corvettes and 740i. Oh my goodness. It's just a, it's a fest, I tell you. It's a fest. There you go. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Make sure and subscribe. All that good stuff. Call me up. 406-546-8748. Nathan. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. And what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this absolutely gorgeous W108 Mercedes Benz 280 SE. It's a 73 model and it's just gorgeous as the day is long. The chrome, everything on this car, it's just in spectacular shape. I've got a book of records in the trunk like you wouldn't believe. And I'm going to show you that in this video. I like to do it once around in the different lighting to kind of show you what it looks like on the outside you know, in the day, in the evening time. Um, if you look on my channel, you'll see the exterior review and I'll go over any dents, stings, scratches, stuff like that. And in this video, I like to show anything that I came up with that I might have forgotten to do in the exterior video. And I came up with two things that I didn't catch in the exterior review video. So that's where we are. That's what we're doing. That's what this car is. My name's Nathan. It's oneownercarguy.com. I gotta snap a picture of this. Hang on. Yeah, that was just a pretty angle. So, let's get on with doing the interior and all that and 
doing it tuning. Actually, I gotta take a few pictures, so I'll be right back again. Okay, so out here in the middle of this, and I got the trunk open, it rained last night, and I got this box out, and I wanna go through this box a little bit with you. Number one, this is the kind of person that owned it. You got the every belt for the car type of thing. That's a little old man thing. That's just all there is to say about it. You got the data plate, or whatever you want to call it. And that was in this box. You got all the original manuals. Um, I'm going to pop these out a little bit and get this stuff out to where I can go over it with you. And I'll be back in a second. But meanwhile, there's some bumper ends there. Okay, all these books, all this stuff, cool stuff. Man, it's just, it's neat to have one this old with this kind of stuff in it. Um, and the guys, it's a one or two owner. They obviously took care of it because, check my eBay ad, that'll all be in there. But I mean, even the, how the seatbelt things work and all that's in here. Then you got the Mercedes-Benz dealers in the U.S. and all that. And I'll keep this in this nice little thing there. You got that stuff. And then, first off, you got all your old records dating back to 72. 73 and it just keeps going 76 and you know however far you dig through 82 92 on and on to we'll take these here a couple of these on 2015 they did all this hopefully you can see that radiator mount kit spark plug wire oil filter crank Hang on, don't want these to blow away. Come on now, don't blow away. Timing chain rail, exhaust manifold gasket, valve cover, valve cover gaskets, head gasket set, crankshaft seal, motor mounts, exhaust hangers, seal, distributor cap, hose, breather hose, throttle linkage, balls, motor oil, hose clamp, bypass hose. They did all kinds of little things on this. Idle valve gasket. They just did a complete re boom -bitty boom Now this is 3,000 miles ago. Um, they redid all this uh, for $4,400 of work there. And then you got another 363 and 564. And you can just keep going and going and going with these receipts. There's so much here, it's pitiful. Beautiful car, all that. I'm going to get back to the review now and you can check out all it is. This is a sweet, well maintained, great running Mercedes. Okay, here we go. Got my flashlight just in case. I want you to see everything. Let's see. Just help hang on. Yeah, it does. Okay, let me get this key out because that's absolutely annoying. Don't know who's texting me, but they're going to have to wait. A little bit of wear on that bottom pad there. The pedals have almost nowhere. Just a little dust. Door panels are in great shape. Seats, just great shape. Lots of cushy cush left. Cushy cush. No, no, no. Just probably not a word, but. Look at a couple stress marks there. You can see right there and right there. Very clean, just slight cracking on the um, seal there. A little bit on there on the edges. The wood just getting needs to be refinished at some point. Oh, look at the door sills. These plastic pieces always bust off. Always. Don't be busting off on my car. That's right. Okay, back seat. I'm here to tell you, the back seat of this car is clean. Look at the seats. Carpets, great shape. Third light, that had to have been added. Look, it's on a little piece of wood. Some little old man had this car, man. Wait till you see the trunk. I've got a pile of paperwork like you wouldn't believe. Uh, same thing on the wood. Could use a varnish or Man, you can't close that door too hard. Thunk right now, buddy. Make sure you're in the trunk. Sorry if that light got in here. Look at this. Just beautiful. It's got the sunshade. If we all took care of our cars like this, I tell ya. I tell ya. I think it does help a little. Okay, so underneath this, let's see. Oops, I have pieces just about ready to come off, but I gotta show you underneath here. Look at that. Just clean as can be. And here's a stack of paperwork. I'll go over that at the place. 
um, spare tire and all that. This look at the weather stripping, great shape. It's still spoonging. It's just starting to wear on the edges. Um, whoever had this car, they took care of it. California blue plate car. And like I say, the chrome and stuff on this car, just in great shape. Chrome, stainless, a couple different kinds of metal on this thing, I'm sure. We're going to go for a test drive again. I'm going to show you that back here. Look at this. Door panels. Just, oh, gold coin. Gold coin. Nope. Just a cough drop wrapper. This thing. I thought this side's actually pretty good. It didn't catch much sun. That's pretty much how it should look. Um, seats, great shape. Let me pull this out for you. That's what she said. This, that's awful. Why would this, Let's just change the subject now. Headliner's in great shape, but over in that corner, you can see it's coming on loose from the window. Oh, see, now here's where the. Let's zoom in. Move our flash. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. So we move our flashlight up there. See, so you can see it hanging down just a little bit on the edge. Okay. Beautiful car. Zoom this thing back out. Front, geez. Front seat. You just can't close them things too hard, I tell you. Front seats are in great shape. Just great shape. Just dash, great shape. It's a little crap. Right there. And right there. Hey, see? Look at that wood, man. Just in beautiful shape along that dash. Slight stress mark one right there. Right along here, and this one's taking the worst of it, as you can see. These should be refinished, just to keep them maintained. But they're all intact, all the way around. Even the tops, which then fall off due to heat and whatever. Dual lap belt and shoulder belt. Kango, I think, is what they were. I don't know. Love that old Mercedes-Benz interior. Nice. Everything's nice. Um, the one thing that I really would change on this is this. That, that antenna I don't do it just I. Not the least. Guess I didn't do that. Let me do this. One owner car guy .com. Uh, This little thing here, I'll show you here in a second. But let's go ahead and pop the hood. Show you under here. Oh man, and the pockets on your doors, they're all good. Very nice. Rare to see, rare to find. Look at this. This is an absolutely beautiful car. You can hang on. My camera strap is getting in the way. You can see down in there. This thing's in great shape. Even the padding on the back, great shape. There's a little ding somewhere right in here. Right in there somewhere that I was trying to show you before. And I don't know if I forgot about it or what. But now you know. I know it's half the battery. So, that's under the hood. Just beautiful. Everything about this car is just beautiful. I'm going to go back to the place now. I'll give you a test drive. The hood insulation is worn off in areas. It's not rusted, but the glue's all gold and stuff. There's, and that's another thing. This car is not a rusty car. It's looking for a handle or something. There you go. The other thing I would likely change is the windshield wipers. They're not original. Where's that ding? Right there. Ding. Just tiny. Okay. Let's get in here. And... There is a small crack in the windshield that I didn't show you in the previous one. This piece up here, it needs to be restored. I, I would really get some um, of this on it, varnish. Um, whatever it's called, dang it. Now, from the key, when you leave the door, listen to that thing start, to the seat belt buzzer going off. This thing does it, so. Okay, this window does this. You can get a little bit more to where it's a little bit more, but that's it. Uh, it pops back down. I love this thing from the front end with the lights on and such. Oh man, they look in intimidating. Would that be the word? Impressive. A couple I words. I don't know. Any way you want to call it. Look across that hood. Oh my goodness. I want to get a picture of that. I do. Is that that's what I want to do? It is. Okay, got my picture on the road. Oh my, this thing just drives nice. I enjoy driving an old car. 
that drives like a nice new car. And when I say that, I don't mean the way that a nice new car is, but the way that the car should drive. Because, I mean, there's no way to compare a frame car and a unibody car in just the way the, the body and the whole motion feels. And that's part of what I love about this car, is it's an old, real, real, real car with, like, some actual power and, like, some luxury and class. This car, it turns heads, too. Okay, let me tell you what. The only thing that would be cooler than having this baby blue 280 SE is if it, you had a big, uh, a baby pink 280 SE for your wife. Now you'd be cool. Okay, that's zero to speed limit. Keep it up with the new Camaro like it ain't no thing. Uh, there's just not anything bad I can say about this car. It's beautiful. I probably said that a time or two. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and make sure and look up my website, but look at, look at my channel. Click through the YouTube channel here, click my name below the thing here, video, Cereal Marshmallows, and you'll see, I got thousands, I got about 8,000 videos on here, I guess, between six and 8,000 somewhere. And you'll see all kinds of car reviews and stuff that I buy and sell and swap and yeehaw and stuff like that. But this is an actual deal. If you're looking for a 280 SE, if you're looking for an investment grade car that you can drive daily, and have just keep going up in value? Man, I'm telling you what, these cars are an investment. These cars are just one of the, yeah, they're, they're pretty premium, okay? Hey, have you caught on to that yet? They are pretty premium as far as the investment grade thing goes here. So, that is your test drive. Um, there's an exterior video. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he doesn't either. There's an exterior video that I did um, this morning and you'll see it on my channel, or this might be the complete one where I've stitched them together for you to be able to see. But I'll tell you what, check this out. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but the back tires just busted loose and I stinking squirrel net zipper across the road and stuff. And it's powerful and it's nice. It brakes nicely, it shifts nicely, it steers nicely, it rides nicely. Um, dare I say, you don't need to do nothing to this car at this point. I don't know what I'd do to this car besides just stain the wood to kind of preserve it a little bit. Besides that, there's just nothing to write home about wrong with this car. This car is, I'm not going to say flawless. I hate to say perfect flawless. Look at that beautiful sunset. Okay. So, up over the bridge, we are heading back to the place. I'm right there. You can see the Valvoline trailer. We won't hit the Ford. Can we get in there? Don't think we can. Oh yeah, we can. That's a that's a legal move. Okay, what do we see when we go in the yard? All kinds of deals at Montana Muscle here. Okay, SL SL LS 400. There's a W124 wagon sedan. All of a sudden, my website, the Ben's wagon. I mean, uh, limos coming up. Look at another 69 over there and. An SL behind it and a, a W140 that's just fantabulous, $19.99 with 60000 on it. A 560 SEL. Oh my goodness. A, a convertible Mustang. It's just like, I, I feel like I'm driving around a wildlife preserve for Mercedes. I'm telling you. Okay, so all fun and games aside. I, you know, driving around all this time and trying to um, keep the flow of a video going and make it not be too dry or too not enough stuff talked about and all that and not talk too much is a happy thing that I'll probably never hit, but I'm going to keep trying. So, Alante! Oh, man. Let me turn these lights off. Oh, let me give you a look with the lights on. Alante, this is a nice convertible. This is a great investment car. I like fully depreciated investment cars, like the Mark 7 with 26,000 original miles. 72 Lincoln. Oh, buddy! Look at that club cab Dodge. Corvette, then C4s are just going through. Convertible Mustangs like crazy limo and like oh man oh man he's got little blue lights in here there's a kmart flashing blue lights oh they match the car that is cool i gotta get a picture of that that's cool well thanks for watching that's the video five six oh man there's s classes all over okay thanks for watching have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are one owner car subscribe like comment all that good stuff i'm here let's do it Okay, I'm going to throw this in somewhere on this video. We're back. There's all kinds of beautiful cars. And you lose track with all the different stuff of what paperwork you have and stuff. 
This one has all the paperwork where the oil pan gasket, all the gaskets like that, um, valve cover gaskets, the um, head, gasket. head, gasket, head gaskets, had a new radiator installed, uh, rebuilt, had a new cooling system type yeah, yeah. thing, everything, water pump. This thing has had so much stuff replaced on it. I'll show you all the paperwork in the night videos and I'll clip this in somewhere.